I'm going to highlight row three, row seven, this box, this whole box here, and box six. And the interesting thing about those, those four things I just highlighted is because of the properties of Sudoku, we actually know, we don't know what the disposition of the digits will be within those red cells, but we do know exactly what those red cells contain altogether, because it's four complete sets of the digits one to nine. One for this row, one for this row, one for this box, and one for this box. So altogether, we know that the red cells here contain four sets of the digits one to nine. Now, I'm gonna to switch to green, and I'm gonna highlight a different four sets of the digits one to nine. So I'm gonna highlight the whole, oh, can we see that that's green? So I'm gonna highlight the whole of column one, the whole of column two, the whole of column eight, and the whole of column nine. Okay, so now let's describe the, the, the green set of digits. That's also four sets of the digits one to nine, one for each of the columns. So at this point, we know that the set of the green cells, if you like, and the set of the red cells are identical each equal to four sets of the digits one to nine. Now, the trick to understanding the Fistema-Fell ring is to focus on one of these cells that has two colors in it. So let's look at this cell here. And imagine that we removed it from both the green set and the red set. So let's, let's imagine that we, we just take this out. I'll, I'll make it blue. So I'm removing this from both the green set and the red set. What can we say about the remaining cells now in green and red? And the thing we can say is that they still contain the same set of digits. We don't know now exactly what that set of digits is because we don't know what digit will fill in row three, column one in the final solution. But we do know that the red set and the green set are still equivalent, they're still equal. And we can do that for every single every single cell in this puzzle that contains both colors. We can remove it from both the green set and the red set. Let's now focus on what we've got left now. So we know at this point that the green and the red sets are still equivalent. And if we look at the red set, you can see 16 cells here ringing the central box of the Sudoku. Now this is the Fistemafel ring. And we know that that is exactly the same digits as appear in the four corners of the Sudoku, these four two by twos in the corners. And you can try this on any Sudoku you solve on your train home, fill it in, and then ring this central box and compare those digits to the corners two by twos and you will find that this works. It works for every Sudoku and it's, I think it's quite magical.